Have you ever found yourself in such a surreal situation that you can hardly believe it's real? I'm currently sitting on top of tons of explosives with two great friends, ready to be shot into space by one of humankind's biggest rockets, the mighty Arian 5. Perfectly normal day, right? I'm Beppy, and together with Mio, up there, we're going on a great adventure through the inner solar system to planet Mercury. Oh, <laughs> but let's not forget about our robot friend MTM, who, after this ride on the rocket, is going to carry us all the way there. A journey that will take seven years, flying past other planets along the way. We certainly didn't pick Mercury because it's the most hospitable destination out there, but because there are still so many unsolved questions about this mysterious world. Our whole lives have been spent getting ready for this great adventure. We worked very hard in school, each bringing our own contribution to the mission. Even though it will just be me and Mio investigating Mercury's mysteries, it will be up to MTM to get us there. We would not get far without our trusty engine. The same is true for all of our teachers, getting us ready for launch and our journey towards the sun. It's going to be very hot at times, like working in a pizza oven. MTM and I needed to get special jackets fitted to protect us. Well, Mio invented a novel way to keep cool once at Mercury. She's going to spin around to evenly distribute the sun's heat. But on the way, she will have to sit still inside a sun shield. As well as math, physics and engineering, we also started to learn each other's languages. Mio is from Japan and is very curious about all the different countries and languages in Europe, while I try to learn some Japanese. We began to understand some of the differences between our cultures, which is important because we will spend many years traveling and working together. Throughout the journey, we will need to make a lot of maneuvers, and these had to be practiced over and over. We will fly by Earth once, Venus twice, and even Mercury six times before orbiting around it. Just imagine, we will be the first mission to study planet Mercury with two spacecraft at the same time. Two friends planning to do some great experiments together. I was always fascinated by our destination, but I confess I used to be a bit afraid of it. It's such an odd orbit, and being so close to the sun made it really difficult to get to. It was the least explored planet in the inner solar system. But one night, changed everything. I quickly overcame my fears and became completely captivated by the thought of traveling to this strange world that so few spacecraft had braved before. I couldn't wait to see it with my own eyes and to understand why it was so different to Earth. As we were growing up, our cousin Messenger sent back news of many interesting discoveries at Mercury, which left us quite curious. I'm really interested in geological processes like impact cratering, volcanic eruptions and tectonic activity and how that changes the chemistry and appearance of a planet's surface over billions of years. Mio's favorite subjects are magnetic fields and space plasmas and studying how the sun influences a planet's environment. That's actually something we're both going to do. Investigate how the solar wind interacts with a planet's magnetic field from our two different viewpoints. Mercury is a rather exposed planet, and we would be able to see how the sun and small meteorites change the conditions both down there and in the environment along our orbits. It certainly sounded like we would see lots of changes, and we were excited to bring our skills together to better understand the planet as a complete system. There are certainly still plenty of mysteries to solve. It's almost time to go. Power and thermal. Power and thermal, go. Light dynamic. Light dynamic, go. Com. Com, go. Baby, go down, go.
Thank you.